In today's video, I'm showing you guys how to get a bunch of candy corn real fast in Prodigy. So I'm your host, One Doctor Genius, aka Alan the Cool, and let's get straight into our video. So if you guys haven't noticed, Pumpkin Fest has rolled out. It's only been three days approximately. And now you guys are probably searching for, oh my gosh, how do I get more candy corn? I need candy corn. Well, you're in luck because in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to get a lot of candy corn really fast. So let's get to it. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys four ways in which you can earn candy corn. But the first thing which everyone should be doing is the Pumpkin Fest daily task. It's basically asking you to walk around Pumpkin Fest and search for unlit lanterns. And if you find an unlit lantern, well then light it, obviously. Like, that's literally the only thing which you have to do. And it's a super easy, effective way to get 10 candy corn easily. So without further ado, let's go search around for a pumpkin and then light it. Yeah guys, so the first thing which you have to do is you have to search around for a pumpkin. So let's get to that. And now obviously, there's gonna be one stray pumpkin around that play town which you have to search for. And obviously, searching for pumpkin is pretty fun if you guys ask me. I mean, oh, what? Okay, that's pretty easy. I mean, looks like we got an evil witch pumpkin which isn't lit right behind Sir V. And Sir V is supposed to be like that awesome knight guy who's supposed to save the pumpkins. So Sir V is failing his task, but let's click on the pumpkin and do a battle. So guys, remember, this is only the first way to get candy corn. There are multiple other ways as well. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the first way right now. Guys, so this is the first method where you search around Lamplight Town for an unlit pumpkin and then light it and proceed to win the battle against the monster. Make sure you guys win because if you lose, you don't get as many points as you get if you win, okay? Now, this is one of the easiest ways to get a candy corn. But I know a much faster way. Alrighty, guys. So it seems like I finished off the cloaker. That was one easy battle. It only took me two attacks to win this battle. So here we go. You won. Woohoo! Let's collect our member stars. Hopefully we can get enough for our paradoxes to level up. Let's open up our chest. And as you guys can see, over here, we've gotten ourselves 10 candy corn. Alright guys, so you had a quick overview of what the first method is. So let's get to the second method. Now the se second method, what you guys can do is you can always try to spin the Wheel of Wonder or the Twilight Wheel. Right, so by spinning these wheels, you have a random chance that hopefully, sometimes, um, candy corn may appear on the wheel. Unfortunately for us, candy corn is not on the wheel, so you guys should spin anyways, although it's not going to help you out much, except for giving you guys some florins or some house decorations. Alright guys, so if it just happens to be that you guys were unlucky and weren't able to get anything from the twilight wheel, well, don't worry, there's another thing which you guys can do. Sorry right, guys, now in order to show you how to get candy corn really fast, what you guys will need to do is you guys will need to start doing monster battles. So now I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. Right, for every monster that you battle in game, right, let's suppose you do a one person monster battle. Well, then you will get one candy corn. Two person monster battle, two candy corn. Three person monster battle, three candy corn. So right over here, we have um, someone from the bouncy board. So we're going to be battling this guy, defeating him, and then taking his candy corn. Because obviously that's the thing which everyone does in Prodigy. You battle a monster, you defeat the monster, and then you steal their candy corn. Okay guys, so I've just answered my question correct, and it looks like we should be doing approximately 3,899 damage. That isn't too bad, it's less than half of the monster's health, that's almost half. It's like close to half. So let's cast the same spell again, and hopefully we can defeat this monster in two more attacks. Also, did you guys hear that caves are coming to Minecraft along with a lot of other stuff? Yeah, caves are finally to Minecraft. Oh yeah, what I mean by that is like they're gonna be updating the caves in Minecraft, adding new materials and new ores. Unfortunately, there's gonna be no new armor thanks to the new ores, except, well guess what now happens? You can craft telescopes and copper reacts with oxygen, forming blue tint color in Minecraft. Alrighty guys, so we've just answered another question correct and hopefully this is the last question we will be needing to answer this question correct. And now it seems like we've done enough damage to defeat the battle. Now guys, so we've just casted our last spell defeating the monster which we were battling. So basically we have won our bounty battle and now here we will be collecting all of our stars and stuff. And now, luckily for us, we should be able to open the chest after collecting our member stars and BAM! Oh you guys, look at that. The first thing which we get is candy corn. Now that's pretty cool if you guys ask me. First battle and candy corn, that's nice. Right guys, so that was only one battle. So we have to do a couple more battles to make sure that we always get candy corn, right? Yeah, so let's do that. Okay, so it seems like we're going into another battle against Rascal. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my all-out attack, okay? Now, even with your all-out attack, it still works. So all you have to do is you have to answer the question. 
Here I go, another question answered correctly, another supernova casted. Holy cow, did you guys just look at the attack animation of the phoenix? I just realized I completely pronounced that wrong and it looks like it's a Charizard, but still. I'm gonna call that a phoenix, okay? Yeah, but you guys saw, I just casted the spell doing a... Right, so I just casted my spell doing approximately 8,000 damage, defeating the monster in one attack, collecting our 15 member stars, 15 stars in total. Now let's open up the chest, and the first thing that you guys see is candy corn popping out of the chest. So it's so far we've only done two one monster battles, and we've gotten one candy corn per battle. So now let's do a two person monster battle and see how many candy corn we get. We have cast our spells doing approximately 3,910 damage. Yeah, this spell did 10 more damage. Woohoo! After casting five spells, we finally won our battle and collected our member stars. So it seems like our pets are closer to leveling up. That's pretty nice. We have a Paradoxus and Ember Shed equipped. One is at level 97, I mean 79, and one is at level 73. That's okay. Let's open up our member chest and see what we get. And wow, won't you guys look at that? We got 300 gold. 20 shiver chillings and 2 candy corn that's one per monster which we fought along with that we also got a morph marble cloaker and a gold copper coin alright guys so now we've done that as you guys can see it's pretty obvious that we get one candy corn per monster which we battle in every battle right if you guys happen to do a hundred three person battles in prodigy you would have been able to earn yourself up to 300 candy corn which would be enough to buy literally everything from her shop right now guys, that's not the only way. Another way you guys can get candy corn, but it's a little bit more challenging and fun, is by playing in Dino Dig Oasis and using Dino Dig. Now when you click on Dino Dig, whenever festivals are going on, there's a chance that you can get gold or the festival currency from over here. So right, let's click that start button and let's click the walk faster one, because obviously this guy walks so slow that a turtle could run faster than this guy. And A turtles don't run and that was super lucky. But yeah, so as you guys can see, you guys just have to go perfectly by luck. So if you guys have a lot of gold and don't feel like battling monsters, well, I guess this could work, although it would take way longer. And it's ineffective, but still, this is some pretty nice stuff. I mean, also, you guys would be able to, like, improve your Dino Dig stuff, so... I guess it's fair. I mean, like, you're getting free money back from it, so let's dig this up and see what we get. Seems like we keep on getting Morph Marbles and stuff. Now let's see if we can figure out where it is. Over here maybe? Perhaps? No? Here? Over here. Over here. God, where is it? Oh, okay, found it. Alright, so basically this totally depends on your luck. If you guys are lucky, well you'll get candy corn. If you guys aren't lucky, well you won't get candy corn. Honestly, I haven't been given candy corn at all from this place. Being honest, I don't think I even got a single inch of like... Um, sand dollar or what do you call it? What was the last festival? I don't think I got a single sand dollar or a star shard from this place. So for my luck, I'm pretty unlucky when it comes to getting currency out of Dino Dig Oasis. But as you guys can see, I'm trying my best over here. I still have a lot of fossils from which I can get my stuff mixed up. But if you guys have a decent amount of stuff done in Dino Dig Oasis, you guys will have a higher chance of collecting... What do you call it? You guys will have a higher chance of getting... Candy corn from Dino Dig Oasis. Now, I'm trying to figure this out. Hopefully, this will be candy corn. Come on. Give me candy corn. Please give me candy corn. I just want the candy corn. Right? And relic copper coins. Well, crap. It seems like we didn't get anything good from this battle. It seems like Prodigy just did not want to give us any candy corn. So, guys... This is another way to get candy corn. Unfortunately, I did not get lucky enough. And as you guys can see, they have a random amount of set for how much of something you can get. So obviously, I got 25 gold coins and one copper coin. You guys could get maybe one candy corn up to two or three candy corn. But you'd have to spend a lot of gold and there's no guarantee that it would work. Wait, what? Wait, we can stand over here? Nani? How did I not know this? How did I not know that we could stand over here? What? Okay. Alright guys, so those are the four techniques which you guys can use to earn candy corn real fast in Prodigy. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful and were able to rack up a huge amount of candy corns for yourself. And this is your host, One Doctor Genius, clocking by. Also guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, like this video, and comment down below. Because all of that does help me out and I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius, out the house. Bye.